Hey everybody, hey, thanks for watching. I uh, recently went to uh, Walmart and uh, bought a couple of these uh, packs, the Heritage Pack, and uh, this box here, and the uh, single retail pack, and then I think this is what they call a fat pack. And then I went over to Walgreens and picked this up this jumbo box it says it contains uh, one out of four contain a hit. Uh, like I say, you guys know more about this than I do. I just got back into the hobby uh, because uh, of you guys showing your videos and uh, uh, opening up these packs. And uh, it's very, like I said in the previous videos, very relaxing. So I would, I just enjoyed uh, um, watching you guys. Um, open up the packs. And I thought, well, what the heck? I got my, myself back into the hobby. And like I said in the previous videos, I collected all through the 60s and the 70s and 80s. And then when it got um, over flooded with uh, cards, everybody was making them from Fleer to Don Rust, the upper deck, the tops, the score. Um, uh, I sort of got out of it. And I just got back into it a couple years ago, like I said, from watching your videos. So let's open these up. We'll see what we got. And uh, again, you guys are more familiar with the new modern players than I am. And uh, later on, I'm going to show you a few things uh, from my era. Well, one thing in particular. And then, uh, you know, just to, just to show you how far the hobby has come. And how far baseball has come. So, you can see that. Okay. And some of these guys, Cody Bellinger, it's a nice card. Like I say, uh, uh, I live in uh, Texas now. I uh, came from the um, uh, Ohio Valley, Pittsburgh, West Virginia area and retired down here. So uh, just getting back into the hobby, I go to the ball games all the time. I have season tickets down here to... Uh, our AAA club here in Round Rock. Um, and enjoy going to the ball games. Just like I did when I was a kid. Uh, started going to ball games in the early 60s, the Forbes Field. And uh, again, up through uh, Forbes Field and uh, Three Rivers and the PNC uh, season tickets for. Uh, PNC anyhow until I retired and moved down here to, to Texas. Looking for that Udon uh, Alvarez rookie card. Still. I still haven't found it. I've watched some of the other videos of you guys and uh, uh, Clayton Kershaw. Somebody asked me one time, there's a good ball, a good picture there. I, I uh, Somebody asked me one time, well, one of my sons asked me, uh, you know, all through the 60s and 70s, watching uh, uh, all the um, uh, great pitchers. Who was your favorite pitcher of all time? And I'd have to say who I actually saw is what they were saying. You know, like who come to Forbes Field or Three Rivers or something like that. And um, uh, who I actually saw pitch. Well, you know, Sandy Koufax, I saw him pitch. Uh, you know, you, you can't, couldn't beat him. Another one I really liked to watch was um, uh, Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson, boy, I tell you, he was something else. He, batters were scared of him. And um, my phone went off there. My batters were scared of him. And uh, I liked it because he would... He would, uh, as soon as the, he got back to the ball and got on the mound, he was ready to pitch again. And I, I really liked that. He, was, uh, there was, he had a fast ball game, real fast ball game. So let's take a look at these and see what we got here. Yeah, I liked that. And then later on, uh, Greg Maddox, you couldn't, uh, when he was on, uh, it was just uh, uh, amazing to watch him from center field camera. Uh, 
it's just amazing how accurate he was. Yeah, Greg Maddox, really good. But those pitchers were the ones I, I, I that come uh, come to mind right away. Joey Gallo. And my phone is going off again. Seal Stadium. Willie Mays. Now there, another ball, good ball player. I saw him play quite a few times myself. Good ball player. You read the phone there. Aaron Judge. Like to see him. I, although I'm a Pirates fan, I, I I do enjoy watching the Yankees and any of the old teams from uh, um, New York. Like I said before, you know the Dodgers, Giants. I enjoy watching all of the old New York teams. I don't know why, just because I guess that that seems like where a baseball to me sort of originated from. I'm old school. I don't believe in uh you know like I said the designated hitter or the or uh, uh, even the uh, uh, instant replay. Got to see uh, Blanco play up in Pittsburgh when he was playing up here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Like I said, I got this at Walmart. Or Walmart, I'm sorry. Uh, Walgreens. We'll go through this pretty quick. I ain't going to bore you. Wow. Another. Cody Bellinger. Hmm. Again, you guys will know more about these cards than I will. As I've been out of it for a few years. Where's a nice card? Like I said, I'm going to show you some of my... Um, Now these here, let's go to them real quick. Weren't these the ugliest cards ever made? My goodness. I collected a few of those myself. Tory Hunter. I always like these club cards. Uh, pictures of the whole club. I always like this. Another ugly card. Why in the world? Anyhow. Nick Johnson. Cool card. Kirk Gibson. They call that home run the the best of all time. Or you know when they uh, greatest home runs of all time, the Kirk Gibson home run. I don't know. Pirate fan, who do you think I think is? Yeah, Maz is. Come on, seventh game, World Series, Yankees. Come on. Didn't care for these much either. Whitey Ford. <laughs> I actually got to see him pitch in a um, old timers game years ago, and I think I think it was a three river stadium. I think. Barb Horner, he was tough for a few years. Kind of like.
like. I think I might pick up another because uh, these are some of the some of these are some of the older players that I recognize. Where you guys uh, um, know more about the uh, newer players. 